This video will show you how to terminate and ground the Leviton 110 style Category 6 24 port patch panel with grounding jumper. The product and grounding method are specific to Europe. The patch panel comes with the following components. The panel with the grounding jumper installed, the cable management bar, M5 cage nuts, M5 rack mount screws and cup washers, M4 screws for mounting the cable management bar, and a spade lug in a ring terminal. To terminate the panel, we will use the following tools. A cable cutter, a data cable strip tool, a flush cutter, a 110 punch down tool, a Phillips screwdriver, and user provided Velcro cable ties. Begin by mounting the patch panel on the rack using the cage nuts. Insert the M5 screws and twist them into place loosely. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten each screw. For this termination, we'll use a bundle of generic Category 6 cables. When selecting cable, be sure to follow your local cabling regulations and requirements. Each cable has been numbered along its length. This will make it easy to identify which cable goes to which port. The patch panel's wiring card includes a diagram for T568B wiring on one side and T568A wiring on the other. We are using the T568B wiring for this demonstration. Terminate each cable in the bundle working from left to right starting at port 24. Find the cable labeled 24 and measure the length needed to reach from the cable bundle to the patch panel. Mark it with your finger. Take the data wire strip tool and make a cut in the cable using a single circular motion about two inches beyond the point you marked with your finger. Be careful not to nick the conductors. Break the cable jacket and slide it off. This generic CAT6 cable contains a strip string which must be cut out. If the cable also includes a cross separator, pull the pairs back Cut the cross separator and examine the pairs to make sure there's no damage to the wires. Position the wires in port 24 following the diagram on the wiring card. Use the pair separation towers to open and seat the orange pair first. Don't completely untwist the wires. Maintain the twist approximately a half an inch from the termination point. Position the white wire to the left and the orange wire to the right. Position the punch tool with the cutting side, which is yellow, facing down. Position the three remaining pairs in the port following the wiring diagram. Punch down the pairs and inspect each termination. Repeat the process for port 23 by routing cable 23 along cable 24 so it enters the IDC from below. Don't route the cable from the side as this will cause the wires in the right-hand pair to be longer than those in the left-hand pair. Instead, route the cable from the middle and terminate the wires by working straight down and straight up. This is the cutting edge of the 110 punch down tool. Turn the tool over so the yellow cutting side faces up. To make a clean cut, Angle the 110 punch down tool slightly upward. This will allow the blade to make full contact with the IDC cutting ledge. Punch down the pair and trim the wire. Position the three remaining pairs in the port following the wiring diagram. Punch down the pairs and inspect each termination. Punch down all four pairs to terminate cable 23. Repeat the process for the remaining cables, continuing to work from left to right. As each group of six cables are terminated, temporarily secure the cable bundle with Velcro cable ties.
To attach the cable management bar, thread the ground lead through the bar. Attach the bar to the patch panel with two M4 screws. Unfasten the four Velcro ties and reposition them to secure the bundles to the cable management bar. Wrap additional Velcro ties around the cables and bar to create a neat cable bundle. To complete the grounding, use the spade lug and ring terminal and user supplied grounding wire to build a grounding jumper that will reach your rack or cabinet bonding element. The wire size for the ground wire should be four millimeters squared. The bonding element may be a grounding bus bar in the rack or cabinet or a grounding element below a raised floor. Attach the spade lug to one end of your grounding wire and the ring terminal to the other. Connect the spade lug to the spade at the end of the panel grounding lead. Attach the ring terminal to the bus bar or grounding element. The grounding is now complete. To learn more about Leviton Copper Systems and Solutions, visit leviton.com slash copper.